State and local leaders are in Tucson tonight to talk about a proposed new interstate that would connect Nogales to Las Vegas. The environmental study for the proposed Interstate 11 began only a few months ago. Tonight is the first chance for people living in Tucson to hear about the project and voice concerns. Not in your side's Ricky Mitchell joins us live near downtown where that meeting is underway. Yeah, guys, a pretty packed house here, actually. ADOT estimates about 140 people showed up for the first Tucson meeting. Now, this is taking place at the Arizona River Park Inn off I-10 and Cushing, and it will be going on until 6.30 if you'd like to come ask any questions. They have all of the project information set up around the room. You can see on these easels here, including a map of the proposed area where I-11 would go. Now, here's a closer look at that map. It's important to note in this entire project that there's no set route yet for Interstate 11. This is in the very beginning stages. They've only identified a general area of where it would go, marked by the dotted lines on this map. There's also a chance, of course, that Interstate 11 will never happen. There are a lot of factors that could determine the outcome of this proposed route. One, of course, is funding. As of right now, there's no money set aside for Interstate 11. One possibility for this interstate would provide a faster route from Tucson to Las Vegas. Again, nothing is for sure yet, but the overall goal of this interstate, according to the project manager with ADOT, would be to boot uh, to move both people and goods more efficiently through Arizona. So this can become a route that can parallel I-10 for a place, uh, maybe I-19, and get up towards Wickenburg and then on up to the Nevada border and be another alternative transportation. Now, we should also mention this wouldn't likely happen until the year 2040, though the project manager says they don't have any real timeline yet. It will take at least three years just to complete this environmental study that they are currently in right now. Now, again, tonight's meeting does end at 630, but if you'd like to hear more information or come to one of these meetings, they're planning to hold another one tomorrow night in Marana, and we posted all of that information at kgun9.com. Reporting live near downtown, I'm Ricky Mitchell, KGun9 on your side.